This Exodus chapter 12. Exodus chapter 12. And I'm reading from verse 12 and verse 13. Exodus chapter 12. And we're reading from verse 12 and verse 13. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night. And will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt. Both man and beast. Against all the gods of Egypt. And I will execute judgment says because i am the lord but and the city was what follows what that word and and uh, and the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are and when i see the blood it's not your age when i see the blood it's not religion and when I see the blood. It's not I'm trying my best and when I see the blood. It's not the power of the enemy. The enemy is powerless. When I see the blood. It's not the cry from the neighboring house. They have come, they have come. They'll never get to you when I see the blood. It's not that thing killed my father. Nothing killed my mother. No, don't think about that when I see the blood. That same, you know, we always have premature death in a family. I remember Uncle So and so. I remember Cousin So and so. I remember So and so. They all died. But when I see the blood, somebody there. I said, somebody there. I congratulate you that you are here. Because now, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. Calamity will pass over you. Sorrow will pass over you. Premature death will pass over you. Judgment will pass over you. We escape by the blood of the Lamb. The blood of the Lamb. See Jesus on the cross and see his blood flowing. He said, it's for your mercy. See the blood. He said, it is for your inheritance. See the blood. It's for your redemption. See the blood. It's for your atonement. See the blood. It's for your cleansing. See the blood. It's for your liberation. See the blood. It's for your escape. And now the moment you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, I'll say, yes, I believe. He shared his blood for me. Mercy will come to you immediately. Eternal judgment will be taken away. Eternal suffering will be taken away. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. Who is that person there? When I see the blood, sickness is going. When I see the blood, affliction is going. When I see the blood, calamity is going. Why don't you rise up? Why don't you rise up? The sevenfold miracle in the blood of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord and say, Lord, I thank you. This is my day. This is my day. Miracle. Mercy for every sinner, inheritance of the saints, and also redemption. Redemption. You're redeemed. You're redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. It's a blood. It's a blood. It's not your effort. It's not your trying. Anybody can get saved today. Everybody here can get saved today. You can call upon the name of the Lord. I believe. I believe. I believe Jesus died for me. It is not crying. It is not throwing on the ground. It is not turning over a new leaf. It is not anything. The blood. The blood. The blood that was shed for you. He shed that blood for you i trust him that blood i trust in the death of jesus christ for me calamity will pass away from your life evil will go away from your life you come today you say i believe jesus shed that blood for me because there's mercy through the blood inheritance through the blood redemption through the blood Atonement through the blood, cleansing through the blood, liberation through the blood, escape from the second death, escape from the final death, escape from premature death, escape from eternal suffering, escape from hell because of the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. 
eyes bowed and eyes closed, God is showing mercy now. The mercy of salvation. The mercy of salvation. You know, you need this forgiveness from the Lord. You're feeling guilty. And you know that if you die with this guilt, you're not sure where you'll spend eternity. Where you'll, where you'll spend, you know, the rest of your life after the grave. And you'll say, I need peace of mind. I need forgiveness. I need salvation. I want all my sins to be forgiven and forgotten. And it's very simple. The moment you say, I believe in the blood of Jesus to give me the mercy for salvation. Heads bowed and eyes closed. You raise up your hand. You say, yes, Lord, I want that forgiveness. I want that forgiveness. Outside, outside, wherever you are, inside, wherever you are, you're raising up your hand. I want that forgiveness. The Lord is waiting for you. This is your chance. This is your chance. You can have the mercy of the Lord today. It will forgive your sin. It will take away that sin. It will take away the guilt and the condemnation. Because this is very important. And then when you eventually die, you will go to heaven. Or when Christ comes, he will take you to heaven. Wherever you are, you're raising up your hand. I want to see that hand. Thank you. God bless you. You'll come to the front of the hall wherever you are. If you're outside, just come to the front of the open space where you are. You're raising up your hand. Thank you. I see you there. God bless you. Just say, take whatever you have and come to the front. That open space. That open space. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. And open over here you are inside thank you thank you you can come god bless you god bless you this is the moment for your forgiveness this is the moment for your mercy the mercy for every sinner mercy for every sin don't say i'm not a sinner all have sinned and come short of the glory of god he'll take the guilt away he'll take all the harassment of the devil away and hey, you are a sinner you are a sinner you are going to die all that will leave hey, outside there come to the front of the open space where you are open space where you are uh, our beloved ushers and the workers there please help us uh, direct them come come the lord is waiting keep on coming keep on coming god bless you keep on coming we're waiting for you the lord is waiting for you he'll give you salvation he'll give you forgiveness it will take the guilt away because of the blood of jesus we have this mercy through the blood of jesus we have this forgiveness of the blood of Jesus. Keep on coming. It will give you peace of mind. It will write your name in the book of life in heaven. Mercy, mercy. Because of the blood of Jesus. God bless you for coming. This is the day of your salvation. It's the day of atonement. It's the day of redemption. It's the day of cleansing. It's the day of escape from the judgment of God. Keep on coming outside. Thank you. Just come to the front of of, uh, that place, the open space outside where you are, on my right, on my left, at the back over there, don't be lost in the crowd, keep on coming, keep on coming the Lord is waiting for you he says, he will save you he says, he will change your life And it's not your struggle, it's not your trying, he has come to do it through the blood of Jesus he died for you he died for you. He shed his blood for you. Well, as you come and you're standing there, just close your eyes and just say, Lord, I come out of my sin. And I come to you, Jesus, my Savior. I believe that you died for me. I believe I have this forgiveness now by the blood that you shed for me. And he will do it. He will do it. Outside, say that. On my right, on my left, say that, Lord, I come to you. I come out of darkness. I come to the light. I come under the cleansing, forgiving blood of Jesus. I receive now the miracle of mercy for the sinner. Raise up your hand. I'm going to pray for you. You're, you're standing here. God bless you. God bless you. This is your salvation. And those who are outside, left, right, just raise up your hand. We'll pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for our new brothers and sisters. I thank you because whosoever comes to you, you will in no wise reject. Whatever they have done in the past, whatever, how ter however terrible it may be, I pray, Lord, forgive them in Jesus' name. We trust in the power, cleansing power of the blood of the Lamb. And we pray that you take every guilt away. Take every condemnation away. 
And Lord, I pray the peace of God will settle in their hearts. Assure them, Lord, because of the blood of Jesus, their sins are forgiven. Because of the blood of Jesus, their souls are saved. Because of the blood of Jesus, they will not perish. Because of the blood of Jesus, you will take them to heaven when they die. Lord, I pray you confirm that salvation in every heart, every soul right now in Jesus' name. I thank you because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. Now we're going to do something. Uh, please uh, cooperate. Uh, we're going to find a way to have more space outside. And actually you have a uh, fresh air there. Uh, so... Um, our leaders, please uh, direct us, all these people who have come out uh, to join the people outside. Any way there? Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Please uh, follow them and uh, don't go here, don't go here. Just, uh, you know, uh, get to uh, the people outside and stay there. And our uh, counselors will be there. Uh, they give us uh, all the paper to feel. It's a new day. It's a great day for you. A day of redemption, a day of atonement, a day of salvation. Praise the Lord, you're saved. And let our counselors and leaders uh, follow right there. And uh, stay with them. At the end of the meeting, then, we will... Uh, you know, put down their names and do all that we need to do and encourage them so that as they have come into the kingdom, they will remain in the kingdom. I said they will remain in the kingdom. I'm waiting for them to settle them because uh, rain of miracle is not going to fall. Showers of blessing. Showers of miracle. Showers of anointing that breaks the yoke. You will not carry any problem away. Sickness will bow. Evil spirit will bow. All the powers of darkness will bow. You're free. I am free. Where is he? I am free. Where is she there? I am free. Because of the blood of Jesus, there is mercy. Because of the blood of Jesus, there is inheritance. You know, Everything that is your inheritance that you have lost tonight, you will receive it back. Redemption. Nobody will hold you in captivity. They will not seize your mind. They will not seize your soul. God is angry with anybody that will enslave the redeemed of the Lord. You are redeemed. You are redeemed from the curse of the law. And that curse will never come upon you anymore. He has made the atonement. He has given the cleansing. There is liberation from every sickness. Do you know that as you believe tonight, and I believe, I believe, I believe, your blind eyes will open. And if you are sitting down there and you are wondering, will I get up? Somebody there, you will rise up. Something is swollen in your body and is giving some concern there. That swelling it will vanish away. It's you know it's kidney problem, it is ulcer problem, cancer problem. Thank God you're healed because of the blood of Jesus. Why not? Why well, you're not going to be free? You will escape from all the suffering of that sickness. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. Are you there? You raise up your hand now. A sevenfold miracle. Sevenfold miracle. Sevenfold joy. Sevenfold victory. Sevenfold redemption. And sevenfold freedom is coming. Does anybody believe what I'm saying? Somebody that do you believe what I'm saying? You will see. You will receive. And after this prayer, don't talk about Satan anymore. It's not in your house. Evil spirit, don't talk about them anymore. They are not your friends. Sickness, don't talk about anymore. You are redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. 
keep up that hand father in the name of jesus we thank you for this great discovery the sevenfold miracle through the blood of jesus lord i pray for everyone every yoke broken in jesus name all the fetters broken in jesus name all the bondage taken away in jesus name sickness you are a stranger there i command you come out in jesus name from the top of your head to the tip of your toe i pronounce freedom to you i pronounce deliverance unto you i pronounce conquering power unto you i pronounce dominion in your life in jesus name lord i pray that brain problem is sanity and I'm mad. I command that evil spirit come out in Jesus' name. You are cast out. You are cast down. And I command that person that was having a mental problem, you are free in Jesus' name. That swelling on your body, that swelling of an ear, and that swelling of goiter, and that swelling any part of your body, I command that swelling now come out in Jesus' name. From the very root, you are protected. Every plant the Heavenly Father has not planted in your life is supported right now. You are free. You will not carry the load of Satan. You will not carry the infirmity of Satan. You will not carry the plant of the enemy. Be free in Jesus' name. I pray for those people that are having respiratory problems in your lungs and all that. You are healed in Jesus' name. I pray for that person with a cancer problem there. Cancer germs, I command you die off right now. All those cancer pains come out in Jesus' name. Lord, I pronounce healing. I pronounce wellness. I pronounce soundness. Be healed in Jesus' name. That thing that is making noise in your head and beat your head, I see if they are going to crack your head, I command that thing to stop right now. By the blood of the lamp we're free. By the blood of the lamp we escape. By the blood of the lamp we're liberated. Be free, be healed in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for that person with that swelling in the ampage. I'm commanding that swelling, that ampage, come out right now in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. I, Lord, I pray for those people having I mean, oppression at night. You sleep, they will not allow you to sleep well. And the pressure that I command that oppressing spirit, that afflicting spirit, come out in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for those who have a, that, that's a problem of coming in the night, the urinate, urinate, urinate. Oh Lord, I pray that that diabetes of whatever level you are healed right now. I send forth the healing power of the Lord upon your body because of the blood of the Lamb. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. All that sin that is a tormenting you, urinate, urinate, I command, stop right now in Jesus' name. I command the person that has the power, you are healed. Pal, be healed, be removed in Jesus' name. The kidney and the liver. I pray, Lord, you touch them right now. Heal them by your mighty power. Lord, I pray for those couples who are married and there's no child. Miracle child, I command you to come. Miracle child, I command you to come. Lord, I pray, touch the husband and touch the wife and do the miracle in Jesus' name. I pray for those who need to get married. I pray whatever is a hindrance, I remove that hindrance. And I pray, Lord, you are released into this marriage.